Hey everybody, I'm Vina and I'm here at the red carpet premiere of Zookeeper's Wife starring Jessica Chastain. This is a movie for all you history buffs out there. It's set in 1939 and it's about World War II and the Warsaw Zoo. So stay tuned for some amazing interviews. Hey, how are Hi. you? I'm fine, I'm fine. You're surviving the windstorm? The windstorm? <laughs> I'm from Bel you know, wind <laughs> this is not a windstorm. You know, we have we have like 120 before, like 12 before, like regularly this is not a windstorm you have the best weather in the world ever it's, uh, Dying. yeah all right we got one question because it is we're in the windstorm so i'll yeah. keep it really quick what was it like to play your character in this movie well you know i um first of all on a personal level i i was very nervous because i felt a lot of weight on my shoulder because I'm carrying this movie together with Jessica Chastain, who was like my favorite actress in the world, uh, and and um, and. But secondly, I had a lot of rough scene, a lot of scenes in the ghetto where where you, and it's an American movie, you know, when when they do that, these things in Belgium, you have an angle as an actor, you have an angle that's correct like this, you know, they put 30 extras and they make a move like this, and two wagons, you know, put children on a train. In an American movie, they have 11 wagons and have 300, 400, 500 extras. I have an angle like this. I just had to step into into history, which was amazing, which was is is real. It's a present for for actors. Um, but but often the the backside of the medal, the other side of the medal, is that you your empathy is, is is tested, and you take that you take that with you, and and you know we made a lot. We went dancing together after the shootings. We made a lot of music, guitar, I had the guitar with that, with me, and, and the, the second unit director had his, his blues harps, and, and, and we, had, we had a really good time, but all just to, to balance it out, because there were, there were some, yeah, I saw, I saw things, I, you know, I saw history, you know? The only, thing, the, only, uh, the only thing I had to do as an actor was forget what I knew, because people at the time didn't know where, these Jewish children went when they went to Auschwitz. They didn't know what was happening there, and and uh, but we know. So sometimes it's like you take it away, you, you take it with you, you take it home. Did, do you print, do you connect with Dr. Jan Zabinski on a personal level at all, or did you just feel like you walked into someone else's character and really yeah. took that upon yourself? Which, what's strange, I think that both Jessica and I as a character, as who we are, are very close to, to Jan and Antonin Zambinski. I'm much more a rationalist and, a, and, and uh, you know, I'm an animal lover in, in a more rational way. Uh, Antonina, Jessica, she's like Dr. S. Doolittle. She has a connection with animals. You would not believe, but I'm not exaggerating for promo or something. She, she, could, you know, she had a shot with two zebras and the guy who owned the zebras he didn't dare to walk with two of them because they had they had to walk one after the other. They're wild animals. They're not horses. And Jessica just did it. And she was like, "Oh, shh." There was like an animal whisperer or something. Yeah. Well, that's magical in and of itself to be yeah, around an yeah. animal whisperer. Yeah, but she she really is. And and I'm much more of the Jan Zabinski type who looks at animals in a, in a more scientific scientific way. I love animals, but. You know, I don't have to cuddle any, any, all the time. You know, and I'm like, yeah, animals, great, and and you know, uh, I love them, but you know, and so we we look we look a lot, lot like our characters in that way. I absolutely love it. Well, we're excited to watch the movie. Thank you so much, and enjoy the show. Thank you. Thank you. I will. I will.